This morning's Breakfast Bible Bite comes from Psalm 71, verse 6. Before we were even born, God was with us. The psalmist writes, By you I have been sustained from my birth. You are he who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. The psalmist praises his God for sustaining him even in the earliest years, walking with him throughout his childhood, making his power and provision of early days evident. This forms the foundation for his prayer. Since God has sustained him during his former years, then it would not be an, an unrealistic expectation to believe that God would continue to keep him at the onset of old age. The, this, by the way, is the same sentiment as expressed in Psalm 22 and verse 9. You took me from the womb, making me secure while at my mother's breast. I was given over to you at birth. You have been my God from my mother's womb. In the Davidic Psalm of 139.13, David begins his praise from an even earlier instance, while he was still in the womb. He writes, For it was you who created my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. Verse 7 of Psalm 71 reads, I have become a marvel to many, for you are my strong refuge. There are many ways we can look at this passage while the writer himself declares he, he himself to be a marvel, but it probably was due to the number of times that the writer could count divine intervention where God had intervened on his behalf. Divine intervention becomes a fact when there is no other explanation for refuge or hope on the part of the recipient. Today, you and I have God's indwelling Holy Spirit, along with a new nature that is filled with Christ-like attributes. And through divine intervention, we also have become marvels adopted, like children, into God's family. That said, there is no earthly reason why those who cross, whose paths we cross, and especially those with whom we've been associated with before our new birth, should not marvel at the change in our personalities. The natural born person who chooses to remain in the dark domain is blinded and will not understand the inevitable change as Christ shines through our new nature. They will usually react solemnly and with apathetic surprise. That being the case, the newly born anew Christian will often be rejected by former friends who out of distress, cynicism, or fear cast off and possibly even deride our new relationship with Christ. But if you have been truly born again, then you are fully aware of the change that has taken place within you. We read about this transformation in Ephesians 4, 21 through 24. Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on the new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy.